What's up? What's going on? Happy New Year. Happy New You. That is the theme that we will be talking about tonight. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone had a wonderful new moon. This is, I believe, my first video of 2019. And as you saw by the topic, we are going to be talking about when will your magic start working. This is designed to help you get from where you are to where you want to be. If some of the things you wanted to manifest didn't quite happen, hello! If some of the things you want to manifest didn't quite happen in 2018, why is that? And what is it that you need to do in order for those things to happen? Um, I talk to a lot of people, I see a lot of posts, I get a lot of questions. Hi, Felicia. And the one thing I feel a lot of people tend to get frustrated behind is they're like, I'm burning my candles. I'm doing my ritual bath. I am reciting my affirmations. I'm being a good person. I've opened my heart chakra. I'm not flipping the bird in traffic anymore. Why isn't things working for me? Why have I been practicing rituals for three months, six months, and you're either manifesting on a small scale or you're not manifesting at all? So we're going to try to figure out why that is. And I went to uh, Agape today, this morning, and the message couldn't have been more on time, and I'm like, aha, I think this is what it is that's going to help a lot of you. Hi, everybody who's tuning in. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, hello to everyone on the replay, and if you're watching this later on YouTube. One thing is, please share this video with someone that you think could use it, someone that you know has been trying to work on manifesting and it hasn't been working. I'd appreciate it if you share it on your page. And anyone here that's in Let's Talk Magic, if you could share it in the group for me, because I can't record and share at the same time. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's begin. Now, first and foremost, I want you guys to just take a second and ask yourself this question or kind of set an intention. There's always noise in my background. Set an intention because there will be a divine message for you coming out of this and towards the end of the video if you stick around for that. So before we get started, I want everybody to take a second and close your eyes. Take a deep breath, and I want you to ask yourself, am I aligned with my divine purpose? Now, that answer may not come right now. It may come during this video. It may come later, but I want you just to, to ask yourself that and set an intention because if you're not manifesting what you want, we want to fix that tonight so you can go forward with the rest of your year. So all together, let's close our eyes. We're going to do, do a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale. Just take a second and ask yourself, am I in alignment with my divine purpose? And just take a second and kind of see how that feels. Whatever comes to you immediately and just kind of hold that there, okay? Some people may be in alignment with their divine purpose, maybe not, maybe you don't know what your purpose is, that's okay. The answer will come, but this is one way to figure out or to navigate through your spiritual journey and your magical rituals for your manifestations. I can tell you right off the bat, and this isn't to ruffle anyone's feathers, okay? There are two types of people. There are people that perform rituals, practice magic, do spells to acquire things that they want, and that's fine. The energy is here to utilize however you want, okay? And there are people that are on a spiritual journey. There is a big difference. You don't have to be on a spiritual journey to perform magic. And you don't necessarily, you can perform magic and do spells, and you don't even have to do spells to be on a spiritual journey. But first and foremost is figuring out which one is it. Are you on a journey, or are you simply doing spells to acquire things to yourself, to your life, to your family, to make your time in this physical package, in this physical reality, more enjoyable. Because I think everyone would agree the whole purpose of doing spell work to have the luxuries is so that this experience is convenient for us. Um, but those of you that are on a spiritual journey, that's a little bit of a different aspect. And the rewards that you gain in the material world are just that. They are rewards for being on this journey, okay? So let's first, before we even get into answering the question, when will your spell work, 
How do you know that you're on the verge of a breakthrough? How do you know that you're on the verge of manifesting things? That is something that I have the answer to. At least what I've experienced for me. It may not be the same for everyone, but this has been my experience personally and what I've heard through the hundreds and dozens of stories from clients over the past couple of years. But number one, let's focus on divine timing. Divine timing, universal timing. News flash, you are not in control. What, what? No, you're not in control. The universe is always on time. The universe is never late. Things come when they are supposed to, okay? It may not be on your timing. It may not be when you wanted it to happen, but things come when they're supposed to. Oftentimes, most people do spell work because their back is up against the wall. And I'm always reiterating to a lot of you, don't wait until it's a need. Don't wait until it's a crisis. Don't wait until the lights are off. Don't wait until you got wind that you're being laid off. Don't wait. And that's the difference in the person that does spells and the person that's on a spiritual journey. Because when you're on a spiritual journey, you're already in alignment. You're already burning your candles on a regular basis. You're already covered so that these things don't happen. And if they do happen, because life will happen, it does happen, you're not hit so hard or taken off guard and your spiritual team is already in front of you ready to go to work before you even ask for it, okay? But for those of you that do wait to the last minute, the one thing I always say is people that tell me they don't have any money and I'm like, well, do you have a candle burning? The answer is always no. Well, I had one and it went out last week, okay, er, there's your problem right there. But we're not going to go into there because I've said that in a million videos. Divine timing universal timing the universe is infinite we know that right in the spirit world and your spirit guides and your spiritual team is not in the same time that we are here on earth so you have to understand that when you are doing your work sometimes you got to sit back and you got to just breathe and chill and wait for things to happen which is the hardest thing to do because the basic self the current self the physical self the ego self can't can't wrap their mind around that it's like i need it to happen right now right now right now now when you release that control when you release that see people do spells and then they're constantly thinking about thinking about i need it to work you you, you burn your candle you say your affirmations a hundred times a day and you're like i know it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen i know it's gonna happen but deep down inside you're scared shitless you're like that's not gonna happen that's the first problem a lot of times people try to tell themselves, it's so, it's all good, it's okay, I'm being positive, it's all going to work out, I know it's working, I know my spell's going to work. But that's not, you say that, and you're, you're saying that because you're trying to convince yourself, but the truth is you don't really believe that. And you don't really feel that. So, in a sense, you're not in alignment and you're contradicting yourself, therefore you're slowing down you're like putting it's like the universe is like a train coming towards you and or the universe the 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 um request for what you're trying to manifest is like a train and it's coming full speed ahead you know you, you know how a train you can't see it yet it's all the way down there you can't see it but it's coming it's getting ready to come and then you just boom threw up you just shift the tracks and you threw up a roadblock and now it's detoured and it's going back in the opposite direction and you're like well i know it's coming is it coming? It's going to come, right? It's not coming. That's what you're doing to yourself inside. So a lot of you are doing everything right. A lot of you are trying to be in alignment. A lot of you, a lot of you that I've spoken to have, I mean, just the way you operate has shifted to a higher vibration because you're trying to be in the present, live in the moment. You've gotten rid of toxicity. You've gotten rid of toxic people. You've changed your lifestyle. You're being positive. You're not eating your co-worker's lunch anymore. And things still aren't happening because internally, there's something inside of you that's contradicting. And it's, 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 it's fighting you. Another thing with that is fear. Something that they talked about this morning in Agape is a lot of people are fear of success. They're, you're fearful to be successful or you feel fearful of failure. 
which in turn stops you from taking the steps that you need. So you do your spell work and you're scared if it's not going to work and you're scared if it does work or you're scared of what you want manifest. But then once you get it, what are you going to do? Is not going to fall apart? You, 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 you got to get clarity. You got to decide what is it that you want, do the work and make the steps for it. And that goes back to divine timing. So there's a waiting period, right? There's a waiting period from the time you do your calendar work, which can be anywhere from three days, three weeks, three months. Who knows? What are you doing inside that waiting period? Are you literally burning your candles and just waiting for something to poof out the air? Now, does things happen like that? Absolutely. But are you putting in the necessary steps? Are you actually doing work for your divine purpose? Um, we'll get into that in a second. A lot of times people, this is, this is the classic, is when this happens, I'll be able to do this. When I get the money, I'll be able to go on that vacation. When I lose the weight, I'll be able to meet that partner. When I get the promotion, I will buy the car. So you're doing all this spell work for things that you want, but in between, what are you doing to get there? Especially for a lot of you ladies that I talk to that say, a lot of you, um, the first thing you, well, not the first thing, but one of the things a lot of you told me you wanted to work on this year is, is having love in your life, attracting a new partner. And my question is, okay, great. So what are you, you're going to do your love candle, then what? Are you going to go out? Are you going to go online dating? Are you going to start, you know, do you go out? No. I say online dating and women start laughing on, on the phone with me and I'm like, well, um, yeah. How do you think you're going to meet that person? So what action steps are you taking? The only thing that you can control on your spiritual journey or with your spell work is doing the work, um, taking the time and planning your rituals out so that you're not slopping them together, doing your research and making sure that you are using the appropriate herbs and oils and tools, um, and the request. But the action steps also need to be taken in the universe will automatically start to support you, okay? Kair said the other day in a video, his video was titled, or was talking about speaking light into your life. Now, speaking light into your life is different from doing an affirmation. It's different from saying, I know this is gonna happen, and you're like, back here, I know, no, 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 that chatter's like, ooh, girl, it's not gonna happen. But are you truly speaking positivity? Are you affirming this is going to happen this is what I'm doing this is what's getting ready to play out are you doing that for others um if you are trying to manifest and I'm gonna use this as an example don't get mad at me y'all but if you're really trying to manifest I always tell people scroll through your timeline on Facebook look at your last three posts what were the last three things that you have liked shared or commented on that's going to tell you where your vibrational alignment is. Everybody who's on Facebook, I've seen about 400 R. Kelly posts. If that's what you're talking about, that's the vibration you're on. You're not affirming the things that you want. A lot of people are fearful of putting on their Facebook um, on their Facebook post or status, I'm manifesting my first million this year because they're scared of what people are going to say. They're scared that when it's not going to happen, people are going to talk to them, talk about them. <clears throat> Excuse me. What if it does, okay? Fuck what people think. They're going to talk about you anyway. Start affirming what is going to happen in your life. Pay less attention to the things that are not going right. Direct or redirect your attention away from things that are lower vibrational, what doesn't serve you. And when you do that, you're going to shift and things are going to automatically start shifting and the universe is going to support you, open those doors, and carry you to where it is you want to be. <clears throat> My favorite quote, you don't manifest what you want, you manifest who you're being. And a lot of people are like, wait, what? You don't manifest what you want, you manifest who you're being. Because essentially we're manifesting, we're trying to manifest what we want so we can be something specific. Start being it in what you want will already manifest. So are you in alignment? Are you 
just trying to manifest that job when actually what you want to be is completely different. Why don't you work on what you really want to be? Okay. If you are, you know, manifesting, I'm trying to get through school, but you hate every minute of it and you really want to be an artist, then you need to live and be who it is that you want and what it is that you want. A lot of people are in survival mode. You will always be in survival mode when you're in survival mode. You will always be, will always be, well, when this happens, this will happen. Well, when this happens, this will happen. Just make small steps towards what it is you really, 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 really want. Because it's already yours. If, it's, if you want it, that's because it's already yours. But you have to go for it. Okay? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going down my notes here. Okay. So, now that we understand that we're not in control, the universe is in control. We are only in control of the things that we can do. The universe will support you. Things will be delivered when they are supposed to be. If they haven't happened yet, it's because it's not time. You have to think about what goes on behind the scenes. So when you go to a movie, all you see is the finished product. You don't know what's happened, the casting, how many hours the actors had to work, how many cuts and edits and replays, and you have no idea what it took to make that movie happen. Your life is like a movie. All we want is the results, but you have to remember that the universe is working behind the scenes. The universe is working, it's the production behind the stage that has to align things, okay? Sometimes a person has to quit a job in order for that position to become available for you to have it. Sometimes a person has to leave a relationship in order for them to become available and move across the country so you can run into each other. Things have to be set up in order for you to get what you want. And it will happen when it's supposed to. When things don't manifest, it's because it wasn't for you. It's because had it manifested later down the line, it probably would have been a catastrophe in the end. It may not have been really what's good for you. You get this job when if you had of had of waited, you would have taken another job and you would have ended up making three times the amount of money. Okay? So try not to be so frustrated. Also, the what am I not doing right? What am I doing wrong? What did I do wrong? Stop the blame shame game. Stop again reaffirming that you did something wrong. Reaffirming that you haven't done something right. Reaffirming, oh, I didn't do the spell right. Stop it. Just because you haven't seen the results yet does not mean it's not in process of happening. And as soon, and that's, and that's kind of about what timing and when things are getting ready to happen. The minute you feel like it's not happening, I guarantee you, that's the minute right before it was about to happen. And you just stopped it, boom dead in its tracks. So with timing, when, when the hell is it going to happen? When you understand what your purpose is. Now let me tell you, or let me just give you a template to kind of just think about. You were meant to be here. You were put here for a reason. We are all physical manifestations of what the creator has made us to be. That's any living thing. That's me, that's you, that's a cat, that's a plant. Anything that's living of high vibration is a physical manifestation of what God, God is, universe, creator, whatever it is that you identify with. Some people are uncomfortable with the word God, but I think we all know what I'm talking about. The higher divine power that created you, you were a thought, you were an idea. You're an amazing idea. You're an idea that was put here to shine that, that, that illuminating amazing magical energy that divine infinite energy was put into you to share that with the world that's what the purpose is now your mission on how you do that is very different everyone's mission is different everyone some people are they're singers they're sharing the light and love and peace and tranquility of their infinite internal god or goddess through their music through their art my hairstylist i call her my hair goddess that's her talent. That is the mission that she's on. She makes me look pretty so I feel better. She's sharing her goddessness, her God energy with me through her loving hands by doing my hair. A lot of people are poets or writers or nurses or doctors or realtors. Realtors are very special. We need them. When I moved to Florida, 
and I drove to Florida and didn't know where the hell I was or what I was doing, a realtor had to help me find a place. Without them, I would have been lost. That is the mission. Whatever your career goal or your spiritual journey is, that is your mission. Number two, transcending out of the physical to a higher realm. Now, I don't know about a lot of you. I say this all the time. This is my last incarnation. I'm not coming back here again. I, you know, I'm cute and all, but I'm done with the physical, the human experience. I get it. I know I didn't, I was either sent, I know I was sent back. Part of me feels like I wanted to come back because I do enjoy the physical, the, the physical body. But part of me, I know I didn't get something, I missed something. I'm not going to say I didn't get it right. I missed something my last go around. So I'm back again. And what I missed, what we, what every one of you that are watching, the reason why you're here, in case you're wondering, is because you haven't quite learned how to ascend how to transcend, how to elevate to the next higher vibrational dimension through expanding your consciousness. That's a whole other topic. But that is also part of your purpose. Now, those of you may want to come back here. I don't know why anybody would, but if you do, hey, that's on you. Whatever floats your boat, good luck to you. I know that my purpose is to elevate to the next dimension and spread love and light and peace and joy in my God, Goddess energy to anyone who needs it in order to help them on their journey. And my mission is what I'm doing now. And that's how I'm going to, some people say, get in the pearly gates of heaven. I don't believe that there's really pearly gates, but go to the next coexisting dimension. And I'm going to be looking at everybody else back in this dimension like, ooh, y'all still stuck there? Mm, I'm chilling. Now, that was a lot in one breath. Um, how to know that you're on the verge of your manifestation actually happening. Number one, when nothing is happening. I know that sounds like, what? You're telling me when nothing's happening, something's happening? Uh-huh. Just like when someone gives you the silent treatment, when they're not talking to you, that's saying a whole lot. That's saying, I'm not talking to you. When nothing is happening, something is happening and something is getting ready to happen. And this is your opportunity to just be still, Woo, that's hard for a lot of us, myself included. It's the time to be still and to be open and to receive that I know, like I know, like I know, like I know, like I know it is already happening. The production is in the works and maybe I wanted it to happen today. Maybe I really needed it to happen yesterday and it didn't, but it is and it's happening right on time. I may not know why it's late and it's late to me, but it's not late to the universe because the universe is never late. The universe is always on time. But what I want is going to be delivered and it's going to be delivered even better. Sometimes when you don't get what you want, you actually get something better. Does everyone's request manifest? Not at all. Again, is that because it's not for you? Maybe. Is that because... Um, You don't deserve it, perhaps. Could you have done something? Could it be karmetic? Another thing, you cannot, I don't care how many spells you do, spell work and ritual work does not, it's not going to change your karma. Karma doesn't always come back in the way that it's sent out. Some people, there are People call them generational curses. There are things that are passed down the lineage that you may be affected from that you directly had nothing to do. You were just, you just picked the family you picked. Yes, you picked them. You were sent to them. You picked them. It may be, you know, you may be paying off some karma from when you were 16. You don't even remember it. That's a possibility. I'm a firm believer that when things don't manifest, it's because it just simply wasn't for you. Or you may not be asking for the right thing. Or a lot of people are asking for one thing when they really want something else. And your spiritual team knows, like, this isn't really what they want. This is what they're accepting. Don't, don't, don't settle. Please don't settle. You can have everything that you want. But when I go back to taking those steps, if you're doing spell work to manifest money because you want to buy a house, but you know your credit sucks and that means you're not going to get the house because you're not fixing your credit, there's something that needs to be done within that divine time frame or... 
your manifestation isn't going to come because your spiritual team is going to say they're not ready. You're not ready. Why should we give you the money for the down payment on the house when you know when you apply for the house you're not going to get it because your credit shit? Then you're just going to blow the money on something else and we're not going to give it to you at all. Get real with yourself. Get real with your reality. Get real with where you are and where you want to be. And don't worry so much about, am I going to fail? Maybe. What if you succeed? Don't worry about those around you and your exterior your friends, your family, your spouse. What do they think? What are they going to think? Oh my God. Guess what? You can't change what they think. They're going to talk about you. They're going to talk about you if you succeed. They're going to laugh at you if you fail. So you might as well try. Anyone around you that's not good for you? To the left. Wait, left is that way, right? Whatever. <laughs> So when the hell is the spell going to work? Jasmine, get to the point. The spell is going to work when you understand that your divine purpose is to transcend. And when you are in alignment with what you truly want and you start being what you want instead of asking for what you need to be who you, who you want. Be what you want. Start taking small steps into being who you want to be and what you need for you to be that person will start to manifest. Did y'all get that? I was listening to The Power by Rhonda Burns. And question, how many of y'all have seen The Secret? If you've seen The Secret, hit one because you'll totally understand this. And a lot of people that haven't seen The Secret will be like, this is so way over their head but there was a part in um Rhonda Burns the power where she talked about there was a man who was looking for a job looking for a job looking for a job couldn't find a job was unemployed for such a long period of time you know what he did he finally he set his alarm he got up every day at the time that he would get up like he was going to work he put on a business suit he had a calendar. He put business meetings on his calendar. He sat at his breakfast table and pretended that he was in meetings, having these lavish business meetings. He went and looked, I believe, yeah, he went and like test drove expensive cars. He started being who he wanted to be in his house. It didn't cost him no money. He didn't have to go nowhere. He started being who he wanted to be, and then he manifested three job potentials, three job opportunities. He was driving those fancy cars. He had moved into a great place. He had that six-figure income. He wrote out checks to himself with the amount of money and pretended he was going to the bank to cash them. When you get your bank statements, if you don't get them in their electronic, print them out, add a couple zeros behind them. Write yourself out a weekly paycheck in the amount that you want to see. Hi, Anna. Yes, you need to watch The Secret. If you have not watched The Secret, you have to watch The Secret. And preferably, especially if you want to do a consultation with me, you need to watch it. It's on Netflix. It's 90 minutes. You should watch it before you talk to me so that you can understand when I give you some tools, you'll know why certain things have to be done the way that they need to be done. Okay, so in candle magic, it is believed, and the reason why we use candles is because what fire is an element, it's a fast moving element, and if you light a piece of paper on fire, it goes up like that, right? Candles are used because they are the fastest tool in within your practice that you can use to manifest things quicker than water, quicker than air, quicker than burying something in the earth. If you bury something in the earth, it's going to take a long time, so I don't even do that practice, but if you do, I'm not knocking anybody, I'm just saying it takes too long. Typically speaking, spells manifest, synchronicities start within three days to three weeks. It can take a few months to see the results that you want. A lot of times people are burning candles back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Stop. Maintenance magic and spell casting rituals are two completely different things. So make sure you have your maintenance magic and then do your spell work figure out what it is you're doing and calculate the time that that's supposed to be done, you will see a difference. Um, I say this every day. Pray over your candles on a daily basis or whatever incantations you use. You will see a difference and things will definitely, definitely start to speed up for you. I'm talking very quickly. If you take a few minutes each day and sit with your or sit at your sacred space, you may maybe you don't do candle work, but whatever that space is for you, you will see your result time cut in half. Visual, visualizing is a huge practice. You should be doing it. Um, you should 
schedule a time out of the day, even if you have to wake up five minutes earlier and lay in your bed with your eyes closed, visualizing where you want to be. You will cut your manifestation time in half. Pick out or make out a list of 12 goals. Think about this for a second. I think we can all come up with 12 things that we'd like to manifest. How? Think about something that you really, really, really want. I mean, really, 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 really want. And this could be anything. No limitations. But think about something that you really want, you've always wanted, and how happy it would make you feel to have it. Now, what would that feel like if three months from today you had it or you were there or you manifested it? How would that feel? Come on. Let me know something. It would feel damn good. And it is possible. It is very possible when you are in alignment. My rule of thumb for me personally is everything that I want, I manifest. I've gotten to a place of being able to almost think my manifestations into being. I've done it for clients sometimes. I'll think about something and they're like, oh my God, this already happened. And I'm like, well, damn, I just lit the candle yesterday. Three months tops. If what you're asking for hasn't manifested in three months, then you need to go back to the drawing board and, and kind of revisit these steps and see what is it? What is it that I'm missing? What is it that I'm doing? Am I being who I want to be? Am I being what I'm trying to manifest? And if the answer is no, then that's why it hasn't happened. Okay? Um... Don't be so hard on yourself. I say this all the time. People hear it. It goes in one ear and out the other. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop being so critical. Stop doing the blame shame game. A lot of people, some people are hexed. Some people have had serious magic put on them. They have come out of toxic environments or relationships or situations or living situations or work situations that make them feel terrible and they've absorbed all this energy. Um, if that's the case, then you need to do some healing because that will slow down your manifestations. But oftentimes we are our own enemy. We are, our household is up here in our mind and we are beating ourselves up, internally making ourselves so bad. Therefore, we're slowing down our manifestation. Something that took six months should have taken six weeks. <laughs> Start being what you want to manifest and what you want to manifest will come to you um okay are there any questions i will try to take a couple quick questions for those of you that have patiently stuck around through the end of this video i'm going to do a very short mini reading um i will be working with the magical messages for the fairies oracle deck by doreen virtue um, if you are a beginner or maybe, and I might do a video on this um, for developing your intuition or kind of for you beginners trying to figure out what tools you should be working with. This is a fantastic, fantastic deck for beginners. It's great for everyone, but this is a good deck for just very straightforward kind of answers um, from your, well, fairies, but your spiritual team, okay? All right, so... This is how this reading is going to work. Thanks for the heart, you guys. Oh, I feel so loved. I really do. Okay, so this is how this is going to work. I am going to, I'm going to shuffle these cards. And I want you to, I'm going to pull three cards. And I want you to take a second and think of a question. You can either just ask, what is the message for you? You can think of a specific question. Um, or whichever card, either card one, two, or three, whatever comes to you first. Um, this is very general. This is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. If the message doesn't resonate, then it may not be for you. Um, oftentimes, some people will say that every card was for them, or you know, they picked card two, but card three kind of spoke out to them, and then I get a message three days later saying, oh yeah, that reading you did, yeah, it didn't resonate, but it does now. So, um, thank you guys. Hi, Phillips. Hi, Marcia. Hi, Susie. 
Ooh, okay, so one card I want to flip out. So this is card number one. I can't adjust my tripod, I'm sorry. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed, so I don't I don't have anywhere to like lay the cards out, but I will show them to you guys. So just hold a question in your mind, set an intention, just ask for a message from your spirit guides. Um I'm just playing card number two. I also have little furry feet sticking me in my side right now. Ooh. And card number three, card number four, two cards fell out. So we have four cards for this reading. All right. So if you picked card number one, <laughs> patience, please. This is the message from your spiritual team. Patience, please. What you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unseen factors that need to occur first. Didn't I just say this? Uh-oh. Am I? I'm trying to refocus. Um, didn't I just say this? Like, I literally just said this. This is what we've been talking about. Having patience because you're on the verge of manifesting. So this is saying your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have been heard. It has been received. It is coming. Take a deep breath. Get out of the desperado. The desperado mode calm down you know sometimes i feel like the universe and i hate to say this but it's the truth i feel like the you, you know the universe will be like all right i'm gonna wait till you i'm gonna just wait i'm gonna wait till you stop tripping because if i give this to you while you're tripping you're not even gonna know what to do with it lack of clarity anxiety breathe y'all some of y'all don't even breathe you take these shallow breaths and is it gonna happen oh my god stop that shit you're not doing anything you are sabotaging yourself breathe okay it's on its way cart number two what is this get some exercise word if you picked card number two i don't even have my spectacles on <laughs> As your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. So this to me, not just get some exercise, but this is saying heal. Your body is longing for some, it wants your blood to flow. It needs some oxygen. It needs you to go out in nature. Now, some of you are under snow right now. That may not be an option. Exercise could be mental. Exercise could be your, <laughs> your kundalini breathing. Exercise can be yoga. There is 10 billion five-minute yoga videos on YouTube. Look them up. Your body needs movement, okay? Um, the other message that's coming through from Spirit right now is a lot of you need to do some detoxing and do some cleansing. Some of you said before the before the new year, I'm going to clean and I'm going to fast and I'm going to detox and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, you still haven't done and you're feeling sluggish and you're feeling tired and you're not feeling good, your intestines, you're, I'm feeling lower abdomen gestation not gestational um digestive issues you're not drinking enough water you're not exercising get yourself some herbs and start cleansing okay card number three <laughs> dietary change wow i hadn't even looked at this card i promise you guys i'm not i'm flipping these cards over you are seeing them for the first time as i am and these messages are probably for me because I was like, I'm going to go to yoga after my live video. And a second ago, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. But I think I'm, I might try to hit the yoga class in a minute. All right. Improve your diet and your life will improve also. Your body is your temple. Like they say, if you don't have your health, you don't have nothing. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of others. Especially those of you, if you have children, they're depending on you to get up and do whatever it is that you do for them on a daily basis. And if you're sick, if you're in bed, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling sluggish, if you're eating crap, if you're eating bullshit, then guess what? You need to make a change. This will slow your manifestations all the way down. All the way down. Trash in is trash energy going out. So if you want to know why you're not vibrating high enough and why you're having a hard time manifesting things that you want is because you're polluted and even though you're mentally trying to be positive you're physically walking around full of toxins dietary change this is mandatory and i can speak from experience on this i have just 
recently I've been trying but I've really just recently have gotten consistent at being on a more plant-based diet um, I've done it very slowly but I'm really at about 80% plant-based I mean I think I've, I've had meat once this week and I'm looking to eliminate that completely and my goal is by March to be totally vegan I don't know because I love eggs and I love cheese but we'll see dietary change I feel the difference this will and actually I've been vegetarian four times in my life for you know one for like two years one for several months um, I definitely saw the difference in my magic not saying that there's anything wrong with eating meat at all I was raised on yard bird I love chicken y'all don't even understand I love chicken wings like I could eat chicken wings in the morning at night I love chicken some people's biochemical and I'm gonna get to the fourth card some people's um, chemical biology needs meat-based protein and that's fine if that's for you like I always say do what's healthy for you but cut out the things that are not good doesn't mean you have to you know go to Whole Foods and buy all these organic stuff it just means you need to eat better and you need to cut out a lot of the crap um, I've stopped eating at places or people's homes I get invited for places to places for holidays and if I know someone is depressed or angry I don't eat their food because that's the energy that's going inside of me so just keep that in mind all right connect with nature okay I feel like these cards are just repeating what I've just said <laughs> um, connect with nature you've you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors that's pretty self-explanatory um, as you guys notice I have a plant I grew that plant from one leaf I'm growing another one if connecting with nature outside isn't an option bring nature inside get yourself one of those little waterfalls from Ross for ten dollars get some plants um, get something that's alive that allows you to connect with nature a little bit more until especially those of you on the East Coast until the weather is better and you can actually go outside if you have you know if you are here on the West Coast and you can go to the beach this time of year or go up to the snow then I definitely suggest you doing that go for a walk in the park open your front door and just sit there for a minute even if you got to put on three coats connect with nature this will also help you in your manifestations. All right, my loves. Um, I didn't really see any questions pop up, so I'm going to bring this video to an end. I really, really, really appreciate all of you who took your time to watch this, to share this, who stuck around through that message for the reading. Um, someone did ask, will I start doing these weekly? I will start doing these weekly. If you missed it, it will be up on my YouTube channel tomorrow morning. Um, I love you guys. Feel free to message me if you want to book a session to get a um, yearly forecast reading or if you want to. Hi, Tammy. I'm in Los Angeles. If you want to do an in-person reading, Reiki session, or just some coaching on your magic where we can really identify where you at, where are you at, where you want to be, and what is it that you're that one missing thing. Um, I am available for appointments. My website is under construction. It will be up um, next week, but you can always message me. All right, my loves. Peace and love, sending you blessings and healing. And this time next year when we meet again, you will be a different person. You will manifest the things that you want. And if you need help, I'm here for you. Love y'all. Talk to you later.